wasteland. F- Todd. Sh- f- so last week, while I was making my plasma caster video, I noticed I was burning through fusion cores a lot faster than I normally do. And that's when I discovered power armor and bat builds just don't get along, and it's been like that for a very long time. So instead of accepting this as truth, I set out to find a way to use vats and power armors more efficiently. First we had to figure out when the battery is actually being used. For my testing I discovered there are three ways the battery is drained. Number one is movement. Moving forward or backwards, side to side. Anytime your body is moving on the map, you are draining battery. This is not affected by being overweight. Movement burns the same amount of battery whether overweight or not. Second is the jetpack. What's interesting about this is that jumping in place does not burn battery. But if you jump and move forward, because you are moving you burn for the distance you moved, but not for the initial jump despite its stamina cost. However, the jetpack burns a lot of battery, about twice the cost of moving normally. Third is vats. When I started trying to figure this all out, I thought logically that stamina must be tied to fusion core battery. But when I saw that jumping in place did not burn battery, logic went out the window. To make sure I wasn't crazy, I got out the old chainsaw and started hacking away. Using the chainsaw does not use any battery. Weird, right? But VATS does. So we have to figure out how to make VATS power armor friendly. I found two ways to do this. The easiest way is to use a card in intelligence called Power User. Some of you might be familiar with this card. How it works is, at level 3, this card will double the battery life of fusion cores. This also works for plasma and fusion cores used in heavy guns. That means if you use a plasma gatling gun or an ultrasight laser gatling gun, this card will double the amount of ammo you can get from one core. But this also works for vats. You might not know this, but when you vat check an area for an enemy, it uses a small amount of battery. This is how I was able to test this card in vats. Without this card, you could spam VAT checks four times before it burns 1% of your battery. Yeah, you heard that right. VAT takes a heavy toll on your battery. But with this card, you can spam it eight times before it burns 1% of your battery. So basically, you are getting more of your fusion core, allowing you to use VATs more efficiently in Power Armor VAT builds. You can take this a step further by putting cooling vents on the legs of your Power Armor. This will give you 10% more efficiency out of your battery and it stacks without diminishing return. Using the power user card, I was able to spam 8 VAT checks before using 1% of the battery. With these mods on the legs, I was able to get an extra 2 VAT checks for a total of 10. The problem is, you're sacrificing a lot of carry weight potential for a few extra shots. But if weight isn't an issue, this is definitely worth exploring on a pure VATS build. I think if Bethesda could take a look at these mechanics, they could be improved so that they are much more rewarding to the player. It's definitely weird the way batteries get used. I don't think that VATs should cost battery in my opinion, but if they have to, it would be nice to have a card or a mod that we could apply to say the arms that would lower the battery usage of VATs in power armors. Or just moving cooling vents from the legs to arms might be the best option and quickest fix. Maybe even raising them to 10% each for a total of 20%, I don't know. As for now, if you are using VATS in a power armor, I strongly suggest you use Power User to get the most out of your batteries. Because nobody wants to sit around and do this for an hour. Thanks for watching. Please smash that like and sub if you aren't already part of the channel. It really helps me out. Share this with your friends, somebody you love. We're closing in on a thousand subs. But above all, have an awesome day. See ya.